All right, Sagittarius, for you today, I am going to do one card reading for you. We're going to see what's going to come out. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle and I'm just going to pull just a card. I can't, let me just, so you don't think that I'm looking at it. Let's just pull the card. And your card, oh my God, is the Eight of Wands. This is so amazing. I can't wait till we get it. Okay, so I, I want to specifically talk about romance in this reading. Um, I am going to do a general reading for you a little bit later, but I wanted to talk about romance. I'll say this, money-wise, you have no problem. I have repeated myself over and over and over again about your money and your fame. You guys already know that I've talked about the star card. What is this all about? What is this stardom that I keep seeing happening for you where all of these people are seeing you and you're being recognized? And so things are progressing so, so greatly for you. You're becoming more victorious over money challenges over, you know, let's say you had your own business. It's the same stuff I've been saying. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, like it doesn't, it's almost like it's haunting you. Okay. But in such a beautiful way, when it comes down to your money, your success, your recognition, it is all there for you. Okay. So when we talk about love relationships, some of you may not care. Some of you may not care. Okay. I, I feel like you're moving on from someone who you, you felt was, you had some type of karmic tie with someone that you felt was a soulmate. And I'm talking about you had history with this person for a very long time. I think we mentioned this before about how someone was coming back from the past because they were so used to you letting them in. They were they were used to you opening that door, Sag, okay? This is different. It's like you within yourself, you want better for yourself. So you don't even feel the same way. You're at this place where you're like, I... I just want to move on. I want to date other people. And you genuinely do want to move on and date other people, okay? And I'm not saying that you don't have a little residue of feelings for the person from the past. I just think that you have become more clear. And, you know, spirit has definitely helped you kind of like clarify or I will say it magnified the problem that you were having with this person. And then it became clear to you that something about this connection just wasn't going to work. So here you are dating. Okay. I do believe that the past person has not let you go. That is not your reading though. Your reading isn't about the past. It's about what you're experiencing in relationships. It's about what's happening. So here you are, you're walking on your path to this new place, right? And you're, you're talking to people, you're getting to know people. And you know, let's just say it's like a movie split screen, you guys have already went on a trip with the new person that you like, and then the person from the past come knocking on your door, you will experience stuff like that. And some things that you're going to experience may be a little shocking to you. Because the person that comes back from the past may tell you how much they've been thinking about you, how much they love you, and they have something in their hand to prove it to you. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a easy love period for you. It's going to be very complicated. It's going to be a little confusing at times emotionally. But the Eight of Wands to me, I'm sorry, like you are meant especially with that star card at the bottom of the day. You are meant to have something special with someone, period, okay? I said I was only gonna do one card and it's kind of hard for me to do one card because I'm only at four minutes. I need to pull some more. I need to pull at least one more just to see how this is going to go as far as like maybe who you may choose. Let's see. All right, so let's just go ahead and choose from the, from the deck. And it's the nine, the nine of swords, okay? I'm sorry, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see you necessarily going back to the past. I feel like some of you, you're so familiar with this person. It's, it just, you know, you it's been automatic where you were run back to them. It's just been automatic. You may have, one thing that I did not like about the nine of swords, you may have a relapse. <laughs> you may have a lapse in judgment, Okay where you may run back to the past because you're, you're missing them so much. 
And I don't know if you're romanticizing something with this person that's not really true. It's not real, okay? You could be romanticizing. Listen, the Eight of Wands is just what it is. It is about progression. You have the opportunity to move forward if you want to. If that's what you are desiring, you have the opportunity to move forward and there's someone else that's there waiting for you in a sense. But I want to be honest, the Nine of Swords is this anxiety of making a wrong choice. Why are you in that position? Why are you in that energy? And truthfully, only you know the answer to that. Love you so much, Sag.